Mr. Spurgeon at the New Park Street Chapel, 365 Sermons Devotional for Monday, April 20th, 2020. The Carnal Mind The key verse is taken from Romans chapter 8, verse 7. The carnal mind is enmity against God. The suggested further reading is from Romans chapter 5, verses 6 through 11. Mr. Spurgeon says this, let me suppose an impossible case for a moment. Let me imagine a man entering heaven without a change of heart. He comes within the gates. He hears a sonnet. He starts. It is to the praise of his enemy. He sees a throne, and on it sits one who is glorious, but it is his enemy. He walks streets of gold but those streets belong to his enemy. He sees hosts of angels, but those are the servants of his enemy. He is in an enemy's house, for he is at enmity with God. He could not join the song, for he would not know the tune. There he would stand, silent, motionless, till Christ should say with a voice louder than ten thousand thunders, What are you doing here? Enemies at a marriage banquet? Enemies in the children's house? Enemies in heaven? Get you gone. Depart, you cursed, into everlasting fire in hell. Oh, sirs, if the unregenerate man could enter heaven, I mention once more, the often repeated saying of Whitefield, he would be so unhappy in heaven that he would ask God to let him run down into hell for shelter. There must be a change if you consider the future state, for how can enemies to God ever sit down at the banquet of the Lamb? And to conclude, let me remind you, and it is in the text after all, that this change must be worked by a power beyond your own. An enemy may possibly make himself a friend, but enmity cannot. If it be but an adjunct of his nature to be an enemy, he may change himself into a friend. But if it is the very essence of his existence to be enmity, positive enmity, enmity cannot change itself. No, there must be something done more than we can accomplish. For further consideration, the Lord Jesus Christ has done for us much more than he commanded his disciples to do for their enemies. Luke chapter 6 verses 27 and 28 Taken from sermon number 20, the 21st of April, preached on the 22nd of April, 18... 55.